Bouncing the Calgary Flames 6-2 with the odd. After the visitors scored first Buffalo all over the ice, effort paying off when Dave Andrichuk got an unassisted tally. Patterson put the Flames back in front 2-1 after one, but Mike Ramsey notched his first of the season at six minutes of the second. Sabres were never headed after that. Rick Sealing rang up what turned out to be the game winner, shorthanded off a pretty feed from Joe Perrault. Perro, the game's number one star tonight, seeing a little celebration. Less than two minutes later, John Tucker got his second of the season from Mbwell and Housley. The Sabres now are flying. Second period ended with Buffalo ahead 4-2. Sean McKenna got his first of the season to put it away at 14-33 of the third. Mal Davis added his seventh to make the final 6-2 Sabres. Afterwards, a relief, Mike Ramsey told me the Sabres were back to playing their game. It was a good game for us tonight. It was like just what the doctor ordered, you know, a good, a good tight checking game. We only gave up two goals and we scored some goals. It was a, it was a nice victory. You got one yourself. Are you turning into a goal scorer? Oh well, it's easy. you know, everybody they give me that bad rap. I score a goal and they all jump on me. But it was nice, it's nice to score goals, especially when you, know, you get them before Christmas. I really like that. I felt pretty good out there. You know, I had a little bit of a slow start in the first period and then uh, felt great in the second and third period. What about the team as a whole now? It seems to be you're on the right track again. Well, we played well tonight, you know, but uh, we'll have to wait and see, and we have to uh, go with the same effort, you know, game in and game out for a longer period of time, you know, before we uh, judge our, our performance, I think. Did uh, game number 1,000 feel any different than the rest of them? No, it didn't really. Uh, it was nice to get a win, you know, certainly we liked the, I liked the way the game played. I was really hoping to get out and try to... You know, make something happen. I wanted to get a goal or make a great play or something. You know, but uh, I think the team came up and really played well. And I agree. Tom Barrasso won his first game as a Rochester Amherst tonight, 4-1 over Sherbrooke. The only goal Barrasso allowed was on a breakaway. However, Rochester coach Jim Schoenfeld has won 6-2. to two. The key here, the game tied at two in the second, but the Sabres come to life. Here, Rick Sealing beats goalie Reggie Lemelem on a breakaway, 3-2 Buffalo. Then working on a power play late in that period, Gilles Hamel in front to John Tucker, who goes low to make it 4-2 after two. Sean McKenna up that to 5-2, and then with just one second left in the game, Dave Andrichuk with the nice setup to Mal Davis, making it 6-2. The Sabres improve their record to 5-4 on the season. Bobby Sobe in the nets for this one, stopping 17 Calgary shots. And afterwards, Ed Kilgore, Ed Kilgore chatted with him. Yeah, they've been going pretty good uh, this year. I watched the game last night. They had a great game in Toronto, and uh, uh, we had a little bit of a tough uh, start in the first period. Didn't have much uh, scoring chance, but uh, they put a couple of goals by us, and uh, fortunately, we came back really strong in the second and third period. Then we played the kind of game that we like to play. You know, we kind of shut them down a little bit and uh, make the best out of our chances. Alrighty, so the Sabres win it 6-2. The Flyers are here on in his first game in the minors. Tommy stopping 27 of 28 shots as the Amherst beat Sherbrooke 4-1 at the War Memorial. Randy Cunningworth, the scoring star with a hat trick as Rochester is now undefeated. 6-2 over the Calgary Flames. Let's take a look at the highlights. In the first period, trailing 1-0, the Sabres will tie things up. Sean McKenna collides into goalie Reggie Lemel, and that allows Dave Andrichuk to score, tying things at 1. But the Flames taking the lead before the end of the period. Colin Patterson, who had both goals on the night, beating Bobby Sove right there. It's 2-1 after one. But then the Sabres taking control in that middle frame, scoring three times. Mike Ramsey coming up from a pass from Gilles Perro with this 50-foot slap shot right here from the point. Bingo. It's tied at two. Then Buffalo will take the lead for good. A short-handed goal by Rick Sealing. How many times does he do this? It's unmolested on the breakaway. His second short-handed goal of the season. 3-2 saves. And then on uh, some nice second effort working on the power play, John Tucker flips one home. It's 4-2 after two. In the third, they added two more tallies. Paul Seal will set up McKenna. 5-2 Buffalo right here. And then uh, adding injury to insult, you might say, with just one tick left on the clock, Mal Davis, who's been on fire, takes a pass from Dave Andrichuk, making the final 6-2. Buffalo out shooting the Flames 28-19 to remain unbeaten on home ice. And afterwards, Ed was in the Sabres locker room. I think a big turning point tonight was Rick Sealing's goal there. That was a big, game. That was a big goal, short-handed, you know, and the score was tied 2-2. That was a great goal for us. Oh, now we just got to get it going on the road. I think we showed we can win at home. Now we just have to start winning on the road. But I think we're capable of going Oh, well.
<laughs> I usually, you know, I'm happy I got that one before Christmas. Usually I don't score until Christmas or time, so I got that first one. It's a lot of pressure off me. Craig, are you tired? I mean, 1,000 games, you know, when you think about it, uh, that's a lot of hockey. <laughs> it's a lot of driving back and forth to the rink, I can tell you that. And a lot of rides. I was saying to Bill Hay tonight, and we are riding down together. It's a lot of times we've been getting in this car and going down to that rink, you know, and uh, I'm very proud of it. I, I'm thrilled to be able to play 1,000 games. And when you start off, you look at each game, and you're trying to play one at a time and hope you can continue to play for the team. And, uh, you know, now to be playing in the number 1,000 and, I think still being a contributing member of the hockey team and seeing a lot of new faces, good young players playing for us. And, uh, you know, it gives you a real sense of satisfaction. Mr. Scotty Bowman making the big news yesterday. In town tonight, the Calgary Flames down at the odd highlights in this game with the Flames getting on the board. Patterson picks up a pair of goals for the Flames in this one. Uh, he'll pick up a rebound goal right there as it comes back to the slot. He beat Bob Sove. Dave Andrushuk makes a great play here. He is so adept at swatting the puck out of the air, picking off the pass right there, and then bats it out of the air a second time and puts it in to make it a 1-1 score. He knocked it out of the air twice. Great play by Andrew Chuck. It was tied. Then a 2-1-1 break, and again, number 11, Patterson puts this one in. Quick wrist shot, and it was past Sobe 2-1. But after that, it was all Sabres on the power play. Second period action, Mike Ramsey at the point is going to get the puck right here as they'll work it around. Good passing by the Sabres. Perot back to the point. Ramsey lets it rip. Cleanly beats Reg Lemelin. And the game was tied at two. Then Rick Sealing comes racing in. We've seen a couple of goals like this from Sealing this year. The wrist shot right there. And it was three to two. John Tucker would get a goal for the Sabres uh, to make it a 4-2 score to the delight of the crowd at the odd. Again, the Sabres nice passing. Hamel gets it over to Tucker. He puts his own rebound in. Bob Solve in the nets tonight. And a big save right there with the glove hand for Bobby as he picked up the victory. Watch the play by Paul Sear. Rides one player off, passes to Andrew Chuck, who takes a big hit. Sear gets it, dishes it back out in front, and McKenna puts it in, making it 5-2. Davis added a late goal with one second left, 6-2 the final score. And after the game, we talked to Craig Ramsey, playing in his milestone 1,000th game. About it too bad. And, uh, you know, yeah, I've played for a long time and I've seen a lot of guys come and, and right now we've got such a good young team and it's nice to still be able to be a part of it, you know, and I feel like I can still contribute and with all these young players, it really look like we got somewhere to go and it's kind of exciting. The guys keeping you young? Oh yeah, it's kind of fun, you know, uh, they make a few mistakes and I try to help them on that and uh, they show me some great plays out there. We're, we're a team that's got, it's got to work hard all the time and uh, we didn't work hard on the road, we're going to have to change it. Uh, we work hard at, at home and uh, hopefully things are going to change.